Sophomore TJ Luddy set a new MAC and Albright record for single game completion percentage, and the Lions scored touchdowns on their first eight possessions as the Albright College football team defeated Stevenson 57-21 on November 5th in Owings Mills, Maryland. Luddy was near perfect, completing 17 of 19 passes for 253 yards and three scores. His completion percentage of 89.5% is an Albright record, eclipsing Brian Snyder's 84.6% in a 1997 game versus Susquehanna. This percentage was also good enough to set a MAC record. As a group, Luddy, Adam Galzinski, Griffin Eldridge, and Jozan Holmes combined to pass for an obscene 92.9%, 26 of 28 passes. Holmes, a senior captain, rushed for 114 yards on 17 carries, an average of 6.7 yards. He added two rushing touchdowns, while sophomore Uriah Brickhouse also rushed for a touchdown. Receiver Caleb Shilko caught six balls for 117 yards and two scores, while MAC leader Scott Pilar had nine catches for 115 yards and one touchdown. The Albright offense was nothing short of ruthless, scoring touchdowns on every possession until the fourth quarter. All-time rushing touchdown leader Jozan Holmes capped the first two drives with scores to give Albright an early 14-0 lead. The Lions then went to the air with Luddy finding Bacala from 13 yards out. Holmes getting in on the action with a halfback pass that found Pilar in the end zone to put Albright ahead 36-0 at halftime. Luddy picked out Shilko for a pair of third-quarter touchdowns, including a 34-yard strike that made it 50-7. Freshman kicker Jordan Lodice was another unlikely ball carrier, running it in for two points after Albright's third score and also converting all seven point-after attempts. Senior safety Keith Bruno intercepted Stevenson's C.J. Hobson in the fourth quarter for the game's only turnover. Nelson Delgado had a team-high ten tackles and combined with Darren Barnett for a sack. Albright concludes its regular season with a record of 6-4. and four. The Lions have their bye week and then will wait for other teams to finish before finding out if they'll be invited to an ECAC bowl game. Uh, we scored five consecutive possessions in the first half. I think our first three possessions of the second half. And then we, we pulled our starters, we, we put our backups in, and we were just trying to run the clock out there uh, at the end, and we ended up punting twice. But it was a very consistent performance offensively. I could not have been more pleased. Uh, we were effective running the ball. We were effective throwing the ball. Um, T.J. Luddy did a great job. Uh, Adam came in, had two great series, uh, scored on both of those drives. Uh, receivers made some big plays. Caleb Shilko had two touchdown catches today, which were you know his first two touchdown catches of the year. So I was glad that you know he had a big day. Scott Pilar again had a big day, uh, and uh, Dev Clark. You know we we worked him in the game plan uh, at receiver uh, this week as well, and he had some 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 big catches for us today as well. And then uh, you know our, our running game was very solid. Joe Son. Uh, you know, had some great runs, a lot of you know some long runs, and uh, you know made some big plays as, as we have come to expect from him. Marty Reinhardt did a great job uh, carrying the ball and blocking. Uh, our boy, our tight ends, you know, made some nice catches today as well. Eric Wade had had a couple of you know two or three you know big plays for us. Uh, you know, as well. So offensively, I could not have been more pleased, really. Defensively, we did an outstanding job in the first half. I mean, we, we held them to a goose egg in the first half. And then we, we gave up um, some big plays in the second half off some missed tackles that resulted in, you know, three scores for them uh, through the third quarter. And I think the last one came at the start of the fourth quarter. And then we buckled down and, and, and held them to nothing, you know, the rest of the fourth quarter. Um, you know the, the quarterback. I'll tell you, their quarterback really did a great job. He's a he's a tremendous player, and uh, you know made some nice throws. But he hurt us with his feet as well. Uh, quarterback run and, and scrambling for big plays for first downs, and uh, you know, he's a heck of a player. So we, we struggled a little bit containing him. Um, you know, uh, and he made some plays. We missed some tackles, so we, we got to improve in some of those areas. But, uh, you know, other than probably three drives in the, the whole game, I thought we did an outstanding job, you know, on, on defense. And then the kicking game was solid. Um, you know, we executed, a, you know, a, a, a fake uh, on them, uh, which I think was a big momentum swing for us in, in, the, first, in the first half. And, um, you know, Brooks punted well you know, there at the end. Uh, and, uh, you know, our, you know, our return unit, you know, was solid. Our kickoff coverage was pretty solid as well. So, uh, you know, the thing that we were looking for this week was a total team effort for four quarters, and you know, uh, we really stressed the importance of that all week. And I felt like we had that. We had it on the field, and we had it from guys on the sideline as well. And uh, you know, uh, really could not have 
ask for a better way to finish the regular season. So, you know, right now we're in our bye week, and um, you know, we have an opportunity this week to, to, to get better without having to get ready for a game. And we'll just wait and see what happens with the ECAC. Uh, depends on how some of these other games turned out today and then next week how some games turn out, whether or not we'll get an ECAC uh, bid. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're hopeful that we can do that based on who had registered for the ECAC tournament and uh, who's left, uh, who has a chance based on their record and, and who is likely to get an NCAA automatic bid. Uh, so that'll come into a clearer picture late, you know, today when I see what the scores were and it'll come into a, a much clearer picture after next weekend. But we won't find out about that until until next Monday, not this Monday, next Monday. So, so right now we're just in a bye week and we're going to prepare for, um, you know, prepare for a bowl game as if we got one. And, and if we do, that's great. So that, and that's what we're hoping for at this point.